Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in a really nice place and I was thinking to show you as well. I'm in the new library which was opened in Oslo. It's called Teichmann Library and it's really really big. But before we go and have a look, don't forget to like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like it. The library has five floors plus the basement and it's really huge. I got lost a couple of times until I realized in which side of the building am I. And the, the thing that is fascinating me is that this library has their own cinema and a lot of private rooms like classrooms and meeting rooms where people can meet and uh, do their things, their private things as small companies or group works from university. You can do everything here. So here you will find any kind of book you want from science, literature, biology, chemistry, science fiction, everything you can imagine you will find here. And uh, another thing which is really nice here is that you have a lot of different spots where you can be alone, where you can study, you can read. You can just relax or film like me because I'm sitting in a very nice place and nobody is bothering me. You can even play music. You will see in the video when we're gonna take a tour of it. And uh, you can even use the computer here. So if you don't have a computer or you forgot your computer at home, the only thing you have to do is to register in the library as a new user and you can loan books and you can use their, their computers as well. Really nice, really efficient and really practical the library it's next to the opera house so it's in the middle of the center it's open usually until 10 o'clock in the evening and it's really nice if you're a student you can come here and prepare yourself for the exams and study and focus more because in my case if i'm home i'm not that focused as when i'm in a library or in another place rather than home you know if you're home you're just chilling on the couch so that's been said Probably on the way I will give you more extra information about it, but I don't want to give you too many information because it's gonna get boring, so let's go.
have to be really quiet because people are already here but as you've seen before here you can even do design or 3d printing the design of the library is pretty spectacular with different kind of places like this and now i will show you something really really nice there is a really nice view from the library to the opera post these videos and probably you will ask why I'm with glasses and why I'm without as you can see the reflection in my glasses I don't like it but yes we will work it out somehow library it's more than a library it's a place where you can spend your free time doing music doing fashion 3d printing a lot of things i'm not sure if i've seen actually everything in here oh well i just find something nice look here let's try this chair here It's not working because of the backpack, but this is fun. Everything you see here, it's free for the public, which is really nice. So I guess it's going to be full during the study year, which is going to start in August. Uh, one more thing that it's really nice here if you're getting hungry you don't have to leave the library you will have a cafeteria where you can buy food and drinks so you can spend all day here studying enjoying reading and getting food listening to some audiobooks because they have this one too so this was the mini tour of the library I'm not sure if I got to all the points in the library but since school starts in August, probably I will come more often here and I will show you what I'm discovering here. If you like this video, don't forget to like it, share it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, take care of you guys.